This timeline takes place from the digital Funtown era to present day and addresses the duo from meeting to going their separate ways. All of this information comes from videos that are in the public domain, interviews and sites dedicated to the duo. Although how they met is unclear, according to an interview it was through MySpace when Titanic messaged Mars Argo regarding some horses she was wanting to sell. She was after a photographer to film them so she could sell them. The earliest known collaboration between the pair is through a YouTube channel called Digital Fun Town. Although they don't appear in a video together on this channel, Sinclair wrote material for the video Pirate Wheel of Fortune, which Mars co-stars in. It's worth noting that according to a 2015 song released by Sinclair, they met in 2007, although the before mentioned video was after 2007. After Digital Fun Town finished in early 2009, they created a channel called GroceryBad.tv. According to an interview, they originally made videos using other bands' music in the background. Shortly after this, YouTube implicated their copyright policy, meaning these videos had to be taken down. It is assumed that the first few videos, for example, our first video, were re-uploaded but with original music. Because of YouTube's copyright policy, they started to make their own music and the band was born, mainly playing local gigs for the first little while. The band originally consisted of a family member and some friends until they moved, but we'll get to that later. It is also worth mentioning that Mars's family made multiple appearances during the technology of the Dead Bird era, including in music videos and computer show episodes. A computer show, according to Sinclair, is when we make a video that's going to be on the internet. These are scripted as opposed to music videos and vlogs. Technology is a Dead Bird was the name of their first album. This is distinguishable in videos by a white or red bird. The bird was a symbol for the album and its associated videos. According to the website Ustream, they had intended to live stream videos and even episodes of their series Computer Show. This is implied due to them having the URL computer-show-live and a video from 2009 where they did a test stream. Although the video only lasts 14 seconds, it is proof that they had intentions of doing so. Not much happened after the release of their debut album in 2009, although they did release a few EPs and many computer show episodes in the process. It wasn't until 2012 when they moved to LA that things started to change. In the episode LA or Bust, they talk about documenting the move, which turned out to be a vlog called Road Trip. They also mention a new album, which due to never being released, is still to this day nameless. It is unclear what halted the release of the album and its eventual scrapping, although they later seem to make plans for a new album completely disregarding the 2012 title. Some songs have since leaked due to people obtaining material in a non-legal manner. In 2013, they recorded and uploaded to their YouTube channel a series of videos that were live from Bedrock Studios. One song in particular, Don't Call Me, went to the front page of Reddit at the time for its creative use of the standard iPhone ringtone. Due to this going somewhat viral, the backlash also increased. During an interview with the now creative Rick and Morty, Dan Harmon, Mars Argo stated that her and Titanic would often receive death threats due to their videos, and as a result, this took an obvious effect on their health and could be seen as part of a reason for the eventual demise of the duo and channel. It is assumed that the songs performed live at Bedrock were originally intended for a new album, 
but within a few months of Don't Call Me, videos started going missing from the channel. At one stage, there were less than 20 videos on the channel. The missing videos were privatised. It wasn't until 2016 when all but three were hidden. These are two music videos called Using You and Runaway Runaway and a computer show episode called Delete Your Facebook. The cult-like following has since led to the resurfacing of nearly every video that was uploaded. Sometime in 2015, they went their separate ways. There have been supposed leaked conversations and screenshots from old posts. These largely imply that Sinclair was to blame for the separation. Although neither have publicly addressed this issue, Mars has stated that she will make a video explaining why she left the internet for a year. They have both somewhat kept in the limelight since, with Sinclair moving on to a project with musical artist Poppy, and Mars having a stint as a model for Lil Sunnybite, as well as former cinematographer for GroceryBad.TV, Tony Kate, releasing a couple of videos he made starring Mars. Sinclair's project with Poppy has increased the popularity of GroceryBad.TV in recent times, with many trying to find out exactly what went wrong. There are channels and websites dedicated to the mystery of Mars Argo, and it is hoped that one day she will return.